Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out the OCRP uh, Law Enforcement Vehicle Pack. This is the one that was released in 2019, um, but it still has some really, really cool cars in it. And um, if you're looking for some free cars, it is really nice of them to release this over on the 5M forums um, rather than just keeping it private, so good to them. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and install some of these. Um, there are preview images if you want to look over them, um, but just to keep my bandwidth from completely killing itself while recording this video because I've been having some internet problems recently, uh, you can go ahead and look at all the photos yourself. Link to this resource page is in the top of the description, so make sure to click on that. Um, also, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. We are trying to hit 10,000, so let's try to hit that. Anyway, let's get straight into this one. So pretty much what we're going to have to do, just like any other type of resource script or anything, you're just going to download that zip file. But this time it's going to take you to a uh, Dropbox link. And then for this, I'm just going to go ahead and go in here. And you can see there's obviously going to be the 5M ready, the templates, and the vehicle credit. So the templates are all also in here if you want to modify those at all. All right, so we're just going to go into the 5M ready folder. And then over on the right-hand side, go ahead and press download and then do direct download. Um, this will go ahead and download it in a zip file, which you're just going to open up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these files. And you're going to navigate to wherever your 5M server is. This depends on what hosting you're using and where you're doing and what year you kind of made your server. And if you're using Zap hosting, you'll connect over FTP file access to go ahead and add those resources. If you are on local host and you use the easy installer with TX admin, you'll use your TX data folder. Or if you are on the old method or a Linux type setup, you'll use your um, server data folder. And then inside there, you'll have your resources where all your resources you install are. And then in here, you can see inside the 5M Ready Pack, there's three folders, or four folders, correction, um, that we are going to go ahead and drag in. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag in all four of these folders, just like this. Now, to keep it easy um, and kind of just make it easy on myself, I'm just going to rename these to short. So LSPD, SAHP, um, LSSD or something, Sheriff Department, and then Sandy Shores. The Sandy Shores PD or something, just to keep it easy, and I don't have to deal with spaces or anything in the names. I'm just rename those folders to the short names for them. And if I open up our server.cfg file um, and edit this with Notepad or Notepad++, what I'm going to do is I'll just put these folder names on the side, and I'll add insure each one of them. So LSPD, insure LSSD, insure SAHP, and insure SSPD. Just like that. Go ahead and save. Now, if you're wondering what your vehicle codes and all of that are, you'll find them inside the stream in each one of these. So PD Charger, um, PD Impala, PD CVPI, all that good stuff. So you can go into each one of these folders to find your spawn names. We're just going to only spawn one of them when we get in game to check it out. But um, you can go ahead and spawn these however you want to when you're doing this. Anyway, start up your server and let's hop in game, shall we? All right, so we are in game here, and I'm just going to open up one of my trainers, and I'm going to spawn the vehicle by the model name. Um, PD Charger was one of them, so just go ahead and type that in. Destroy the fence in the meantime, and we got ourselves the model in game here. So hopefully this did help you out installing this. Obviously, you can add the vehicle extras and anything that the vehicles come with. Um, so let's go ahead and try one of those. I don't exactly know where it is in this one. I think it's under one of these things. Maybe I'll use the other menu. Hold on, let's open that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle the extras. And pretty much what the extras do is they'll add the different parts of the vehicle. So you can see, I just added more lights there to the front of the vehicle. Um, there's plenty of things you can add and toggle around. So you can configure these cars in many different ways and you can figure out all that good stuff for your server. But hopefully this did help you. Um, hopefully you're feeling the winter feeling now that it is December um, and just keep enjoying the time. Um, I will be out of town this whole month pretty much. So all these videos are pre-recorded back in November, which is kind of weird. I don't know why there's so many NPCs just standing around here, but all these videos are actually pre-recorded back in November. So if you have suggestions for videos, uh, leave them down below and those will be for the end of January. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you when I return um, in two days for you in a month for me. All right. See you later, everyone. Goodbye.